Welcome to this video tutorial. I will show you how plants to beam works in six steps. Before starting, choose your offer between starter, essential, premium or enterprise. For this video, we will choose starter offer and sign up for free. Then you can create your account and fill in all the information. Validate your registration using the confirmation link sent by email. Don't forget to look on your spam box if you can't find the email. Now, sign in and let's get started together. On this first step, we are going to see how to create a project and import plans. I will remind you that in plans to beam it's possible to import a plan in PNG, PDF or JPG format. To create a project, click Create a Project. You can name it and put a description if you want. On the tweet view, you can decide where do you want to import your file. Select your plan from your files and decide which page do you want to extract. If you have a PDF with Civil Wars pages, you can select more than one. The second step is scale. On plans to beam you have a future which allow you to scale with the meters, but also with the imperial measurement, feet or inches if you have it. This step is really important, so make sure you have dimension on your plan. Third step, start elements detection. In this step, you have two choices. The first one is to start the elements detection by all the elements. And the second one is to start the elements detection step by step. Let's start with the first one, detection of all the elements. We are running the automatic detection of all the elements by clicking the yellow button to launch algorithms. This window allows you to change default parameters of your elements. When you have done, click on Validate to run the algorithms. The detection time can be longer or shorter, depending on the size of the plan. Incredible! You've just converted your 2D plan into a 3D model in just a few clicks. Let's continue on the third step with the choice to detection by step. We are running the detection step by step with walls, openings, slabs and spaces. Do not hesitate to switch on 3D view to check if your elements have been detected. You can change the default settings of your element before starting the detection. On the right, you can change the property of an element and transforming a window into a door. Also, you can correct the mistakes and modify as you want.
You can see your slabs under the plan. The last elements to be detected are the spaces. It's perfect! All the spaces have been well detected. Fourth step. Edit and save the model. Before editing, you can change your plan's parameters, such as opacity. You can also change the plan elevation. If you want, you can hide the elements in the hierarchy on the right. You can edit elements in 2D and 3D, but some edits can only be done in 2D view. We are going to create new elements to see how the creation tool works. Click on the creation tool and click window to create a new window. So now let's create something more original. Select wall with the rectangular shape and click on the wall with the two windows. You can change the orientation of the element with the extremities or by using the spin hammer. If you want to copy and paste your element, you can use the future copy and paste on the top or you can use your keyboard shortcuts. It's possible to modify the wall length by clicking on the short sides. You can also modify wall thickness by clicking on the long sides. For multiple selection, hold down the control or common key and select the required elements. Then you can change 8 in properties of all the elements selected. Don't forget to redetect the spaces. The space you've just created is a balcony, so we are going to rename it. In Plants to Beam, you can define properties for each element. Let's see example of which properties you can add. Well done! You've just created a new space on your plan, so don't forget to save. Fifth step. Export the result in BIM model, IFC, 2D CAD, DXF, or quantities, Excel and CSV. Let's see how to export the result in BIM model, IFC. You have to export the model according to your offer, starter, Essential, Premium, or Enterprise. First, choose your export format. Pay attention to this box. 
you have to check this box only if your other's modeling tools do not manage junctions on themselves. So now you can import the IFC into any beam viewer or editor. If you are using Revit, I got you. Open the IFC from your files and let's see the result we get in Revit. How to export the result in 2D CAD DXF? You have to choose DXF format and click Validate. We are using Edificious CAD from Hacker to edit the result. How to export the result in quantities? Choose CSV format and click Validate. Open your CSV files and you can find the quantities, surfaces and volumes of your project. Step number 6. Assemble the floors. It's an optional step, it's when you're working on a building with multiple floors. Before assembling, make sure you have all your plans modelized. Then you can select your models to assemble. Here you can find all your model, you can mask your plans, or also you can mask your models. This is how you can define the reference flow to click on the blue button. Do not hesitate to use the mouse to align your plans like this. and click to export the assembly. So now you're done. You can view or edit the result on a viewer. For this video, we are using Asbeam Viewer. It's a free viewer from Aka Software but you can use the viewer of your choice. If you want to delete your project or your plan, it's easy. Go on your tweet view, click on building, go to settings, advanced settings, and delete building. Do the same thing for your project. Click to project, Go to Settings, Advanced Settings, and click Delete Project. If you need help, you can read the user guide, you can find all your questions inside, and the video tutorial. Also, do not hesitate to contact us. We will respond to all your questions. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any question, please contact us or put a comment below the video. So now it's your turn. Try Plants to Beam.